You are now listening to Tough Tiger Talk Flash Report. Shout out to the mighty Tiger Nation. We in this thing. Big Q representing Tough Tiger Talk. We up in this thing. And we're going to talk a little LSU uh, this afternoon, fam, in this report. Listen, the bottom line is LSU, uh, the spring transfer window closed. Of course, LSU wasn't able to obtain the defensive lineman, interior defensive lineman that they wanted to obtain. It's kind of a little bit upset because they had a few people that they had that they really wanted, but just chose to go elsewhere. Let's kind of dig into this article from whodatdaily.com. Shout out to Milton Manningham, who is the staff writer for them. He covered this and talked about the transfer, the spring transfer uh, window closing, and the fact that LSU has to kind of keep on digging away to see if they can get some stuff done. But they did get some, some help from the wide receivers position. Let's kind of dig into this thing here, a spring football transfer window has come to a close, leaving the programs across the nation with a mix of anticipation and apprehension. The strategic moves during the window as LSU uh, addressed some concerns in both the defense and the wide receiver position. They secured commitments from notable talents like C.J. Daniels from Liberty, who's a prize addition, who opted for LSU over Texas and Oregon. That was good. Coach Kelly reinforced the defensive backfield but a bunch of homegrown talent, which was really positive. Guys like Jair Brown, Austin Alsbury, and Jordan Gilbert all come in here. That was really big to help out to kind of fortify the secondary. That was a position of need that we seen last year and the uh, terrible efforts in our secondary used to get burnt all over the place. But here's a quick little uh, chart, if you will, of what LSU was able to do during the, the spring transfer portal. Wide receiver C.J. Daniels, as I mentioned, and those defensive backs, Brown, Osbury, and Gilbert, and defensive lineman Gio Piaz from Wisconsin. So as you can see, a lot of the grades that were given based on uh, the composite recruiting rankings gave LSU an A for C.J. Daniels, Drew Reporter, B- minus for Brown, Osbury got a C-plus, and a B for Gilbert. So each one of these guys coming in to kind of help the secondary out uh, and do some positive stuff. But in terms of the defensive line, which was where we were really looking at, the transfer window closed, and we were in pursuit of some guys, uh, you know, commitments from rival uh, programs by Demonic Williams, uh, Demonic Williams and Simeon Barrow Jr. compounded the Tigers' woes, leaving them with a stark realization of dwindling options available. With only Jacoby and Guillory, Jalen Lee bolstering experience in the defensive tackle position, it's a, it's a void there left by Mike, uh, Mekhi Wingo and Mason Smith, who went to the next level. So what would LSU do in terms of kind of addressing that? Now, this is something that simply they'll have to kind of look at moving forward. But anyway, let's take a look at this unofficial depth chart here by uh, Alvin Lance, which kind of lays it out. And you can see everybody here offensively, defensively, and special teams. But I wanted to focus on a key position of need, speaking from the defensive standpoint, which the interior line. So you see uh, Guillory, you see Lee there, and then a lot of guys behind him, guys like Sean Washington, Jalen Thomas, uh, McAnoli's back there, uh, Dominic McKinley, and a few others. So I'm talking about really fortifying this so LSU still has uh, some work to do right there, but they did add some talent in the secondary. That should really help out too. When our cornerbacks, you know, secondary was a position group that we all wanted to play attention to. A lot of people believe that uh, Jordan Gilbert might actually move to and become a, the may get the top free safety position, while guys like Os, Osbury and Jair Brown provide good depth behind uh, Zai Alexander, uh, Sage Ryan, depending on you know what's going on there. So, I mean, we'll see how it all looks moving forward. But in the end, uh, LSU man still missing on that defensive tackle position so what do you guys think man do you like what lsu has been doing during the spring how do you feel about the spring game y'all let us know in the comment section hit the like button hit the subscribe button and make tough tiger talk one of your favorite lsu podcasts out there i'm big q i'm gonna holler at you on the next one much love go tigers subscribe to the tough tiger talk channel and stay up to date for all things lsu football